Hey guys, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and welcome to my YouTube Masterclass. The first viewing is free, but the second viewing will cost you. Hey, speaking of Masterclasses, did you know that Nerf made one? It's called Nerf Upload, an online YouTuber Masterclass hosted by Dan Cutting, Morgs, and AJ and Sharky. This video premiered on Nerf's official YouTube channel on October 30th, which means, unfortunately, the comment section is turned off. Since I can't comment on the video directly, I guess I'll have to make an entire response video. When I saw this video pop up, I had a lot of questions. Namely, why does this exist? Perhaps the description will help answer that. Nerf Upload is the must-attend online event this half-term, filled with Nerf blasting fun whilst learning what it takes to be a YouTuber. This official Nerf event will give you the exciting opportunity to learn the very basics of what it takes to become a content creator from famous YouTubers themselves. Hosted by popular YouTubers including YouTube sensation Morgs, football fanatic Daniel Cutting, and hilarious duo AJ and Sharky, the interactive session will show you the ropes on how to get to grips with content creation from the comfort of your own home. So Hasbro wants to show us what it takes to be a YouTuber. Still a little random if you ask me, but maybe this is all in preparation for their next social media campaign where they have people submit applications for running their YouTube channel. I mean, it worked for TikTok, so clearly it could work for YouTube, right? Okay, that's a tad unlikely, but if that does happen, you heard it here first. Interactive session, huh? Riddle me this, Nerf. How can it be interactive if the comments are turned off? Now, addressing the talent mentioned in the title, a quick search tells me that everyone here is a YouTuber based in the UK. Furthermore, this whole video seems to be a UK operation based on certain spellings, phrases, and even when the video premiered. I don't think I've ever seen that before on Nerf's channel. Usually it's just US-based content. But for that reason, I'm also not very familiarized with these hosts. Uh, I have heard a little bit about morgues in the past and not for good reasons, but I'm going to check those biases at the door for today. That said, my quick search also tells me that these individuals all have successful YouTube channels, but not necessarily with Nerf or foam flinging in mind. Of course, it doesn't have to be their primary focus, but it does strike me as a tad concerning when these are some of the first videos that I find. Yeah, sure, a dumb trend from four years ago, clearly, but like, could you not? And just for clarity's sake, before officially jumping into this video, let's define YouTuber, a person who creates and uploads videos on YouTube. So what does it take to be a YouTuber? Do you need to upload a certain number of videos, or is it how often you upload? Does your subscriber count matter? Or is it how many views you get? Can it be a hobby? Or should it be your full-time job? I ask these questions because your opinions may vary. I don't always consider myself to be a YouTuber, but given the years I've invested into my channel and my somewhat regular uploads, I think I have some decent insight on YouTube content creation, especially in the context of Nerf and foam flinging. Right, that's what my channel's based on. I would say that I'm fully qualified to critique this video. But I'm not worried, because this is going to be great. AJ and Sharky start off this video as hosts and introduce the different segments and YouTubers. Morgs for general YouTube advice, Daniel for trick shots, and then AJ and Sharky again for how to film and edit videos. Apparently all you need is a phone and some editing software. More thoughts on that later. They say that one third of parents don't think that becoming a content creator is a real job. We've also heard that a third of the parents out there don't think that being a content creator is a real job. But fortunately, they have some obvious advice for you. Love Upload to help teach you that and teach you obvious advice on how to become the best YouTubers out there. Oh, if it's so obvious, where are we? Obvious advice. Very quickly, we're introduced to Morgs for his top tips for YouTubers. And his number one tip, never give up. If you keep going, eventually, it will work out, it will all work out, guys. Stay motivated, stay positive, move on to the next, it'll eventually work out. Though he does go on to later acknowledge that it might not work out. YouTube may not always work out for everybody. It, it is gonna be hard. Obvious advice. And for the parents, he says his mom was a huge part of his YouTube success. Parents should support their kids in their YouTube endeavors, like holding the camera, or helping with videos. Now, Morgs is an accomplished YouTuber, so I'm not going to say he's wrong. In fact, there's a lot of truth to what he says, 
but I do think he glosses over a few points. First being this super positive perspective that almost anyone can make it if they have the right mindset and they just keep at it. There's a lot of luck involved in becoming a successful content creator on any platform. Ask anyone, even with great ideas, great execution, some things will just always be left to chance. The YouTube landscape alone is plenty saturated with nerf related content, so it's harder than ever to start out new and then stand out. And then secondly, when it comes to parents, you know the best way that parents can help out? Like the way they probably helped out morgues? Money! If you're a kid, you're broke. You likely have little to no money without your parents' involvement. In the context of Nerf, you need money to buy new blasters, and they aren't as cheap as they used to be. Trust me, I know. Everything else involved in making videos too. Camera, lighting, microphone, other props, a film location. Are you filming in a bedroom or do you have an actual mansion with a huge outdoor space and a freaking pool? I'll let you know which one I have. Now, as an adult, I have my own income and therefore I make my own financial decisions. But if you are still reliant on your parents or guardians, you do not. So chances are that will also factor into whether or not you can even create videos. It's the sad truth, but it's obvious advice. Next we cut to Daniel Cutting. He made YouTube videos to show off his love for football, American soccer. Now he can show us how to make Nerf trick shots. All right, that makes sense. There are literally millions of videos out there featuring Nerf trick shots. Let's shoot some cups because that's interesting. Line your blaster up, breathe, and then practice. Well, you're gonna wanna line your blaster up with your target, get your breathing right, and then it's all about He's practice and repetition, okay? Don't worry if it doesn't- He's holding an ultra blaster. I can't take him seriously. Watch him continuously miss because he's using an ultra one with standard Nerf ultra darts. Then he shows off his actual skills to remind us that his talent is in fact being wasted here. When I think of trick shots, my mind goes straight to Dude Perfect because they've made the most popular Nerf trick shots online. They also have Nerf products literally named after them. So I don't know why they weren't included here instead. It was probably a money thing. Also, they're not based in the UK. Ah. Anyway, Nerf trick shots can be fun to watch, but outside of Dude Perfect, I don't know if it's really a popular YouTube genre. Is it? It's a healthy combination of skill, presentation, and time to make good trick shot videos. That's why <laughs> I don't do them myself. So I do appreciate a good Nerf trick shot, but I think shooting cups is more like target practice, at least, <laughs> like this it is. Oh, there we go. And now back to AJ and Sharky for how to film and edit your own videos. Tips from the experts. Tips and tutorials straight from us, the experts. And the important part. Okay, so now for the most important part, actually capturing a trick shot. In front of me, I've got an iPhone, but these tips will work with any phone. I feel that I have been misled. So the real theme of this video is how to make Nerf trick shot videos for YouTube. It's like they started on the topic of being a YouTuber overall and then very quickly honed in on one specific topic that once again, I don't see much demand for nor do I see it as the best way to start a YouTube channel. My opinion, of course. I hope you're interested in making a trick shot video because the next 14 minutes are dedicated to it. Tip number one, get a phone with a camera on it. Tips for how to record using a phone? Don't block the microphone or the lens. Clean the lens. Make sure you're recording. Honestly, if you're messing this up, you probably shouldn't be making videos. Then set up your lighting. Lights, please. Give it a second, guys. There it is. <laughs> oh, okay. How many lights? Where should they be placed? I don't know. Just have lights. Throw them anywhere. Point them at the ground for all I care. They ain't gonna tell you. Who's gonna see the shots if it's dark? And I'll miss. Obvious advice. Stabilizing the camera. Okay, this one's actually fine. They recommend finding something to lean on or against if you don't have a tripod or steady hands. Composing the shot. They establish roles. That's it. Filming. Wide shots for action sequences. Reaction shot for celebration moments. Close-up shots for close-ups. Let's go. Wait, what? He didn't even shoot the cups. He just knocked into the barrel and then they fell over. Epic trick shot. <laughs> editing your trick shot. iMovie on iPhone, but they say their tips can be applied to any editing software. 
anywhere. A very simple tutorial on how to import your clips, add them to a timeline, trim, cut, paste, add transitions, and then add copyrighted music. And can we see the finished product? Let's watch this video again. Let's watch one more time. Can I actually, I think that's it's so good cool. Video. Yep. Cold. Yep. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Smashed it. Inspiring. A true culmination of the skills we were just taught. Oh, uh, speaking of those skills, a few quick observations. The first two clips seem to overlap time-wise, and he even primes the blaster twice, despite that not being possible without firing. Bruh. Those shots are also pretty much the exact same angle, making the first clip almost Bruh. unnecessary. The wide shots are pretty close up and relatively steady, but per recent advice, they could have been steadier if the cameraman leaned up against Bruh. that pillar. I can see most of what's happening, but a little extra light could go a long way, and there appear Bruh. to be some Bruh. unused Bruh. ring lights in the Bruh. background for just the occasion. Oh, and this trick shot sucks. Bruh. Sorry. What do you want me to say? It's a somersault. And then he point blank shot into a stack of cups. I'm not expecting dude perfect, but I can't imagine this taking too many attempts. And to wrap it all up, we get a quick summary of some Q&A for AJ and Sharky that is a bit awkward and incomprehensible. AJ, what was your favorite video you've ever made? Uh, my favorite video is a slip inside football video because I had loads of fun filming it and I was playing football, which I love. Oof. What? Jumping back to the whole trick shot filming, I'm a bit conflicted. On the one hand, I agree. Using your phone to record, edit, and post videos is something very doable in this day and age. I first started recording my videos with a much older phone, and with the right lighting and maybe even an inexpensive lav mic, your videos can turn out watchable. And with the power of modern phone cameras, you might not need to justify dropping a lot of money on a separate camera. It can be quite the investment. But on the other hand, I have to call out the BS once again, because these guys do not edit YouTube videos on their phone. They probably don't even record videos on their phone. There's also a good chance that they don't edit the videos themselves. Maybe they do. Uh, but I know a lot of large content creators have a dedicated editor or editors for their video production. And none of them, no offense, none of them are using iMovie to edit from their iPhone. I used iMovie for a good amount of time. It's pretty powerful and user-friendly, so I certainly see it as a viable option if, of course, you have an Apple product. But I never used my phone to edit, so I'm not going to pretend like I'd recommend that if I have the computer as an option as well. But hey, maybe trick shot videos require less editing. Maybe instead of trick shot videos, they could teach people how to make review videos instead. Those are pretty popular because everyone wants to see new stuff and gather information before making a purchase. Probably wouldn't require too much intense editing either, so that seems to fit. Oh wait, I get it now. <laughs> Reviews don't cast a 100% positive light on Nerf because they might involve critiques. Negative feedback. But trick shots are fine because trick shots only show off the best moments. So they make all your Nerf blasters look amazing. And to think I was worried I wouldn't get anything out of this masterclass. You want to be a Nerf YouTuber? Continue to only say positive things about our products and only be slightly interested in Nerf because the real enthusiasts, they know way too much and they pay attention to the competition. If you can't legitimately look at yourself in the mirror, every morning and say to yourself, it's nerf or nothing, don't even bother. Thank you, have a nice day. So yeah, this video is kind of useless, but I wouldn't say it's malicious. If someone watched it and got inspired to start making videos, well then that's great. Obviously, there's a lot more to making YouTube videos, but finding the passion is an important first step. I started mine because I enjoyed nerf and general foam flinging and wanted to share my experiences with others. I can't tell you what to create, and frankly, neither can Hasbro. I have no idea if there will be more from the Nerf upload series, which is a shame because they clearly made t-shirts for the occasion. And I'm also not here to view shame anyone, but this is on Nerf's official YouTube channel. And as of late November, this video has less than a thousand views. So go check it out if you want the full experience. Like I said, it's relatively harmless unless you really start digging conspiracy wise. But like many things Nerf does, I have to ask, why does this exist? Thank you everyone so much for watching. Do you feel inspired now to become a Nerf YouTuber? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you next time. But remember, if you watch this twice, you owe me money. These master classes take a while to produce. 
hey, pay up.